हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट सी इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी ट्राइफिनाइल मिथेन डाइज कि इफ यू रिमेंबर इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन डाइफिनाइल मिथेन डाइज इन दैट वी हैव सीन सिंथेसिस ऑफ ओरामाइन ओ ओके नाउ हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ डाइज ट्राइफिनाइल मिथेन डाइज दिस इज फिफ्थ क्लास ऑफ डाई ट्राइफिनाइल मिथेन डाइज सो सी इन दिस डाइज देर इज वॉट ए ट्राइफिनाइल मिथेन न्यूक्लियस ओके सो दिस डाइज आर हैविंग वॉट ट्राइफिनाइल मिथेन न्यूक्लियस इन देयर स्ट्रक्चर ओके इफ यू आर हैविंग मिथेन मॉलिक्यूल एंड इफ वी रिप्लेस थ्री हाइड्रोजन ऑफ मिथेन बाय थ्री फिनाइल रिंग सो वी विल गेट वॉट ए ट्राइफिनाइल मिथेन सो दिस इज वॉट ए बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ट्राइफिनाइल मिथेन okay so now these dyes triphenyl methane dyes are having this type of nucleus this type of nucleus main basic nucleus hence these dyes are called triphenyl methane dyes okay see one more characteristic of these dyes is what they are having they are having quinoid structure these dyes attain quinoid structure in their molecule okay and that quinoid structure which act as chromophore this quinoid structure which act as a chromophore so these dyes are classified these dyes that is triphenyl methane dyes are classified into three categories one is diamine diamine series okay third one is ट्राइमाइन सीरीज थर्ड वन इज ट्राइमाइन सीरीज एंड सॉरी सेकेंड वन इज ट्राइमाइन सीरीज एंड थर्ड वन इज फिनॉलिक सीरीज और यू मे से फिनॉल सो दीज डाइज ट्राइफिनाइल मिथेन डाइज आर फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इन टू वॉट डाइमाइन ट्राइमाइन एंड phenols so how they are classified these dyes are classified on the basis of which oxochrome is present which oxochrome is present suppose oxochrome is what diamine group hence the name of these dyes are what diamine suppose oxochrome is what triamine group okay three amino group hence the name is what triamine and suppose oxochrome is what phenolic group that is hydroxyl group hence the dyes name are what phenols okay so this is what a classification of these triphenyl methane dyes and they are having what quinoid structure and that quinoid structure which act as a chromophore now what is the example of these diamine series series uh, diamine series or diamine dyes see they are having example malachite green malachite green okay triamine dyes is having example acid magneta okay acid magneta and phenol is having example rosolic acid okay rosolic acid so these are what the example of these dyes diamine triamine and phenol now we will see the structure of this malachite green acid magneta and rosolic acid okay let us see so this is what example of malachite green malachite 
green okay now if you see this malachite green is having two amino group one is this and second one is this that is dimethyl amino group but there are two amino group these are two amino group now let us see example of triamine So this is what an example of triamine that is acid magneta. Okay, now let us see third example that is for rosolic acid. Okay, it's a what phenol triamine dye. Sorry, phenol tri uh, triphenyl methane dye. Okay, now what is the structure for that? See, structure for that is like this. So you will have phenol here that is attaining quinoid structure okay so this is what rosolic acid So this is what the structure for this rosolic acid and it is a what phenolic dye as it is having phenolic group in their structures isn't it so these are what triphenyl methane dyes these three dyes are what triphenyl methane dyes malachite green acid magneta and rosolic acid see in your course you are having synthesis of malachite green okay you are having synthesis of malachite green we are not having synthesis for acid magneta and rosolic acid okay so see these dyes are having this amino group are what chromophore here here also these amino group are what sorry oxochrome these amino group are what oxochrome isn't it these amino group are acting as oxochrome while this quinoid structure okay this is what amino quinoid structure this is what amino quinoid structure it is acting as chromophoric system this carbon carbon double bond it is acting as what chromophoric system here also this quinoid structure it is acting as chromophoric system and these hydroxyl group are acting as what oxochrome in that structure okay so these are what the structure of these dyes and classification of triphenyl methane dyes now we will see synthesis of malachite green okay i hope we have understood this classification of triphenyl methane dyes okay now we will see what synthesis of malachite green See how malachite green is synthesized. Let us see. Okay, see here we will see synthesis of malachite green see it's what a diamine dye malachite green is what a diamine dye hence we have to see we have to react benzaldehyde molecule we have to react what benzaldehyde with two moles of we have to react benzaldehyde with what Two moles of NN dimethyl amino, NN dimethyl amine. Uh, sorry, mm, huh, NN dimethyl aniline. Okay, we have to react it with what? NN dimethyl aniline. I will write this benzaldehyde on this side.
so this is what two moles of NN benzaldehyde we are condensing with what two moles of NN uh, methyl aniline okay and this is what a benzaldehyde see we are carrying out this condensation in presence of concentrated H2SO4 in presence of what concentrated H2SO4 or we can carry out this reaction in anhydrous zinc chloride also in anhydrous zinc chloride also okay see there will be what loss of water molecule so the condensation will take place by the loss of water molecule so we will have see we will have the next structure like this next intermediate like this Okay, this what we will get as a next intermediate. Now see this intermediate is on oxidation. This intermediate is on oxidation with lead oxide. This intermediate is on oxidation with what? Lead oxide PbO2. It will give a leuco base. Okay, it will give a leuco base. See, leuco base is having a structure like this. That CH will get converted into COH. Okay, CH will replace by OH. H will replace by OH. That is a leuco base. Okay, it is a L U L E U C O leuco base and which is colorless. See this leuco base is what colorless. Now see in next step we have to react this leuco base with HCl. We have to react this leuco base with what hydrochloric acid. What will happen if we react this leucobase with hydrochloric acid? There will be a formation of salt of either this amino group, dimethyl amino group, or this am dimethyl amino group with what? Hydrochloric acid. So you will get next structure like this. See, next structure will be like this. So, I am writing salt of this N dimethyl amino group. So, this salt will form, isn't it? This salt will form here. Write rest of the structure as it is. Now, see, this salt will undergo loss of water molecule. This salt undergo loss of water molecule okay in presence of heating so you will have next structure like this sorry okay we have to write another we have to show this double bond here this double bond here and this hydroxyl will went out okay so there will be a loss of water molecule this hydrogen and this hydroxyl group will go away as a water molecule okay this hydrogen and this hydroxyl so what we will have we will have a compound that is 
मेलाकाइट क्रीम so this is what malachite cream okay so this is what a triphenyl methane dye malachite green is a what a triphenyl methane dye how it is synthesized it is synthesized from one mole of benzaldehyde is reacted with what two moles of n-n dimethyl aniline in presence of either concentrated h2so4 or anhydrous zinc chloride so what we will get we will get this type of intermediate okay so condensed product there is what loss of water molecule water molecule will get loss here in this state so you will get a condensed product now this product is on oxidation with what lead oxide there will be what conversion of this ch into what coh isn't it so oxidation will take place and this compound is called as leucobase which is colorless now this leucobase is on reaction with hydrochloric acid there is formation of this intermediate okay so this salt will form here okay you may show here or you may show here it's one and the same now there is what loss of water molecule and you will get malachite green dye okay by the loss of water molecule so there is what a conjugation we can write conjugation of this amino group to the this ring and this ring will migrate into this ring so it will get neutralized and there will be a positive charge on this nitrogen that is in conjugation with each other okay now what is the use of this dye okay what is the use of this dye let us see okay this dye is used as a use as a dye as well as pigment for printing okay this dye is used as a dye as well as pigment for printing that means dye for printing also or pigment for printing also okay you know pigment are what pigment are generally what basically soluble dyes but they have precipitated in the presence of some metals okay or in the presence of some another means that is what a insoluble form of dye which is called a pigment okay so this dye is used as a dye as well as pigment for printing okay so i hope you all understood this topic very well we will stop here thank you very much thank